To number five on Hudson is a gallery based in Cape Town that aims to focus on the empowerment and upliftment of the women uh, in the community through art. Former Miss South Africa Sandy De Brain uses the space at number five Hudson to show beautiful and meaningful art. Her focus is not only on beautiful art, but how it translates into our environment and space. Now, Sandy has selected pieces by renowned, uh, by renowned artists, but to tell us more about the gallery, we join from our Cape Town studios by the gallery owner, Sandy De Brain. A very good morning to you, Sandy. Uh, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you very much, and good morning to you. Good morning indeed. Let's first talk about how the gallery came about and what the thought process of opening this gallery was. Well, I, um, I have been traveling quite extensively and developed an interest in the arts and in particular in um, South African artists and our incredible talent in South Africa and uh, felt that it was uh, fitting to in particular, uh, women, and um, giving them a platform to showcase their art and uplifting the female community. Now, Cindy, the gallery focuses a lot on women empowerment. Take us through some of the pieces that one can expect to see at Number Five Hudson. Well, um, having travelled so much, I I felt that. Um, uh, some of the artists and many of the new incoming artists um, had a lot to show for themselves and there's a lot of oil paintings in there. We have some top South African artists. I want to also bring in new artists and give um, opportunities to um, incoming artists to showcase their work in the gallery. It's still Women's Month. Uh, do you think enough is being done to, uh, you know, to showcase arts from women, or do you think there's this huge and deep gap that still needs to be filled? I think there's a big gap to be filled. I think a lot of um, art uh, is focused on not just men, but um, I don't think that the women get enough recognition, and that is where I'm going to put my focus. So which women artists in the country do you think uh, are the ones to look out for? Um, there are just so many at the moment. Um, there's uh, uh, Nicole Pletz, um, Fiona Rowett is amazing. Um, and there are just so many, too many to mention. And if you just, um, I think they need to be given uh, more of a platform. And I think in terms of selling price, I think that women artists should be able to sell their artwork for the same amount as men sell their artwork for and get the same recognition. Um, and also particularly overseas, I have just been overseas in London and saw the exhibition at the Everard Reed Gallery. Um, I do think that women don't get the same attention as men uh, and let's hope that, that is, we can do something to change that. Indeed. Now, take us through some of your future plans in the gallery in the near future. We want to, um, to help um, upcoming artists to sh where they get great difficulty in showcasing or getting their art shown, uh, unless they have got uh, experience or get seen. And we want to be able to give them a platform in order to get an opportunity to show their artwork when they haven't really um, had opportunities before. And we'd like to run a certain empowerment and start running certain empowerment programs where we can help struggling young artists to get their work shown. And I think that there's a lot of, of uh, scope for these people. Also, people overseas love South African artists. They love South African art and um, we get so many tourists that come, buy the art from South Africa, send it overseas, all over the world in fact. And that is where people are actually spending their money. You know, so many young artists still practice art as a form of recreation, as a hobby. Uh, so how much of an emphasis should we place on the fact that art and uh, yeah art and creativity should be taken seriously it should be taken as a business and as a means of livelihood 
it's very, very difficult actually for young people to uh, earn a good living as an artist unless they um, get a name for themselves. But there's, it's creativity is an absolutely incredible thing. And I think that South African people are very, very talented. We have so much to give and so much talent to, to go for. And I think that the world has become a very different place. And I think where there's creativity, there's always um, scope for, for, for that sort of thing. All right, I Cindy. think that people appreciate the arts so much more. I think with social media and things like that coming on board, it also helps um, creative arts to get their work seen. We never had social media the way we do today previously. And so I think that's a great help as well. Cindy, you're doing very well in the, uh, in the art space. Keep on pushing. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for having me. Absolute pleasure. That was Sandy DeBrain talking to us about uh, number five on Hearts in located in uh, De Devatarkant. The new gallery is a platform that shines the spotlight on the empowerment and, of course, the upliftment of women uh, in the communities through arts. Be sure to be on the lookout for this when in the mother city.